I'm going to practice decision making by doing some random pulls for Japanese Mahjong, also known as Richi. For me, this is great practice for identifying Yaku in a drawn hand. If you haven't already done so, look for a link to this player reference, which has all the Yaku scoring elements on the inside. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Here's a Hanchen indicator. We're going to alternate between east and south. We're going to do six random pulls. I'm going to roll these dice just to randomize which seat we're in, because all those variables can impact decisions. So let's roll. I rolled a six, so we're gonna be in south seat, east round, two dot is Dora. We are non-dealer, so I'm going to get 13 random tiles. Two dot is Dora. We are in south seat, east round. We have north, one, one. I think I would try for all simples. We have three pair here. One, two, three, four sets and a pair. We've got to pair up one of these, but we're ready to act on every block and we have a side weight. I think that's what I would do here. You need four sets and a pair. The sets can be three of a kind or three in a sequence. And we have a pair here, here, and here. Each one of those could become three of a kind. And then here we have a potential chi. So uh, I think I would play all simples. Simples are two through eight, and that's called Tanyao. I think that's what I would do. We do have a four, so if we draw a two, we could potentially even use Dora. Let me know what you think about that idea. But we've got all the blocks, one, two, three, four, and then we just need to pair up either this or this. Each one of those can be acted on or drawn into better than exposing because then we could maybe reachy but there are only four of every tile so the chances of drawing all of these is pretty slim so I think I would be okay to claim discards to pwn so now we're gonna do south round this time let's say we're in west seat One crack is Dora. We have a two, three. I think I would do Pinfu here and discard these first. Pinfu is all cheese, all three in a sequence. These are isolated. Here we have a pair or a seven, eight. We could do a six, nine, six, seven, eight, or seven, eight, nine. Then here we have a chi, two, three, four, or four, five, six. Four, five, six. So I think I would hold all number tiles, discard the single honors, and play Pinfu. And that might even allow us to use Dora. One, two, three, right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or six, seven, eight. Isolated. Work's got to be done here. So. I would try to stay concealed and play Pinfu here. Three, 
there could be a slight chance here for a pure double chi, which is called Ipiku, I believe. Four, five, six in one suit, two chis. The same chi in one suit, Ipiku. That might be good for another Han. Back to east, north seat. Red, white, green, green dragon is Adora. So I think what I would probably do here, we have a pair, pair of dragons. I think maybe dragon pwn, that's called Yakuhai. I think I would maybe discard, we have a one, two, three, a seven, seven, eight. Actually, what we might be able to do here is a hand called Chanta outside hand we could discard the five and play where each block has a one nine or a winder dragon that's called outside hand or chanta we could do one two three it's a little light but here we could do seven eight nine there's a one two three there this could become a seven eight nine if we draw well and then pair up now the challenge here is this white dragon is the door indicator so i think i would probably discard this and then maybe this, just take it pick by pick, but we could potentially play outside hand. There's also potential here for a half flush, but we would have probably five discards since the white dragon is the door indicator. The chances of pairing up and getting a pung here are pretty light, I think. So I think we're in between half flush or chanta. If we played Chanta, we may or may not be able to use this because we would need to draw a one, two. You have to have a one, two, three, or seven, eight, nine, or Winder Dragon for your blocks. And we really just have one, two, three potential blocks. We need five. So here, if we did a half flush, we would have one, two, three blocks. Either way, we have three blocks because outside hand would be one, two, three with potential here and maybe here. So with either of those scenarios, we never used the five. So I think I would start by discarding that and then just take it pick by pick. We could also just do Yakuhai alone, Chi, Chi, pair up, or draw in Chi tiles, and just do Red Dragon Pwn alone. If either Half Flesh or Chanta tiles don't come in. South round. I rolled a six. Two, four, six would be south. One dot is Dora. We have a two. We could potentially use Dora. So we have a pair, seven, eight, six, seven, eight, three crack. No six, seven, eight potential there with the crack suit yet. Single honors, including our seat. South round, we're in south seat. So that maybe could bring some score. I think what I would do here 
is discard the single honors, hold number tiles, and play pin foo. All cheese. We do have a three, a two, and a one three. If we draw in Dora and a one crack or two crack, we could maybe do mixed triple chi, one, two, three. It's really, really light though. So I don't, I think that would be probably a long shot. I think for sure though, pin foo here, discard these. East round. I rolled a six, so that means we're going to be player two. One Bam is Dora. We've got it right there. I think what I would do is discard single honors and play Pin Fu. Potential Chi, potential Chi, side weight. One, two, three, three, four, isolated. One, two, three, four. All we really need is a pair. Stay concealed, play Pin Fu and Ricci with Dora. We would need to draw in a two crack, two bam, oh, side weight. We have two side weights. I would discard that and then this. We have two side weights. This is called a closed weight. So one, two, three, four blocks and a pair, maybe. I think that's what I would try to do here. South round, last one. I rolled a seven, that would be west. Okay, the progression for Dora and the winds is east, south, west, north. East, south, west, north. So north is Dora. We have a pair of souths here. It's the south round and we're in west seat. So here we have a potential chi, potential chi, maybe even there. Either way, we need a seven, four or seven. So that's a bit redundant. These are isolated. So we have one, two, three, four blocks. We could do maybe Ricci alone. Or if we get that last south, Yakuhai, since it's the south round. There's only four of every tile though. So you never know where that fourth tile is. This would not be a valued pair. When you play Pinfu, all cheese, your pair has to have no value. And a pair of the wind of the round or prevalent wind is worth two points. So we wouldn't be able to use that as a pair for Pinfu. So that's why I'm thinking maybe do Yakuhai. Or you know what else we might do? is play outside hand, Chanta, and discard four, five, six. But that would mean discarding outside or side weights. So this, this one would be a challenge, I think, because south is the Dora indicator. So when you have a pair of the door indicator and it's a wind or a dragon. Do you sacrifice it 
or try to use it or hope to pair up or a pwn, I mean, I don't know. This is kind of a sticky situation, I think. Let me know what you think about that. We couldn't play pinfu if we use that because that would be a valued pair. And this tile could be in the dead wall, potentially. So it's not like you can count on it for your only yaku. You know what else I just noticed? We have eight, eight, seven, nine. We could maybe push for seven, eight, nine mixed triple chi. It would be a bit of a long shot because we only have single tiles here, but that might be a good fallback if we don't get the south. So maybe discard the one and the two. Hold on to these other tiles. Start by discarding these two. See if we can get Yaku high, otherwise do mix triple chi and use that as a pair. I think that's probably what I would do. Let me know what you think about that. Richi is a complex game, but it's very flexible if you know the Yaku. Be sure to download the player reference so that you can learn the Yaku and do random pulls if you have a set at home. It's a great way to study. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next set of random pulls for Japanese Mahjong, also known as Rishi. May all your picks be keepers.